In this lecture, I'm going to talk about top-level containers, frame and applets. Top-level containers. In Swing environment, we have frame, applet, dialog, and window for the top-level containers. And right here, we have a demo program, hello app.java, hello applet.java, and the main panel.java. So the main panel is a panel that's a second level container. Basically, you add some button into the panel and then associate this panel with a content pane. And this content pane being added to an applet or to a JFrame, these are two different applications. One is an application from command line or window environment. The other one is an application on browser we call it applet. So, hello applet actually extends japplet, that's one applet being embedded to the browser. And in here, basically we create one main panel, and this main panel knew a button called press me over there, and add that into the japplet in the hello applet. And similarly, for the main application, hello app, we have a main method, and in there, we create one J frame with the title and set a boundary. And we also create one main panel, that's the same panel, and set that panel to the content pane with the P and then show it. So the applet and the application both are using the same main panel as their content pane. Let's look at the example program. Right here, we have one main panel and two program. One is applet, the other one is a hello app. Let's run the hello app first. So, with the title and press me, let's run the applet now. Let's run applet. Right here, we had a press me. The reason why the app is bigger is because there is a setting window when we run it. You need to set the size of the app. Let's close it and run again. Right here, you have the wrong app. And here, I have 500, 500. Let's set to 200 now. And run it again. So this becomes smaller. And they share the same main panel. That has one J button, press me over there and add it into the panel. And that panel being set to the center pane for both applet and the hello app. Let's return to the slides. The frame we have talked about it in the previous lectures. Now let's look at the applet. Applet has a security issue, and it's not worthy to spend too much time on it for the browser. But because there are a lot of applet before, so we can still study the applet to take over those code and convert them to frame for other applications. So right here is for quick GUI demo. So JAppLet is like JFrame, except that their applications are different. And already has a panel, so access the panel with the JAppLet get content pane. So the content pane is born with the JAppLet if you run it. So right here we have a program, hello extend JAppLet, and include that J button over there. And we get the content pane, as a content pane, we add that button into there. That's our applet that we saw before. And for applet, we have the init. When the class got loaded, it will run the initialization with the init method. And then when we start to do processing, we need to call this star method. Usually it's for animation. And if the animation need to stop, we have to stop. And if we would like to destroy that applet, then we call it destroy to clean up. And if you need to repaint it because of the update of data or something, then you call the paint method. So the state diagram is over here. 
init, you get the applet to be initialized. And then you call star to run the applet. And if that applet got stopped, you call the start method. And to resume it, you call the start again. And if you want to stop the applet totally, then you call destroy. For frame, frame is for desktop application. Friend is a window that is not contained inside another window. Friend is the basis to contain other user interface components in Java GUI applications. The JFrame class can be used to create windows. For Swing GUI programs, use JFrame class to create windows. The JWindow class is a JFrame-like object without a title bar or window management button. So basically it's look like the picture and without any control on it. But J window sometimes is useful for some application like express screen. Now let's look at the anatomy of an application GUI. For example, if we have a J frame, It can contain some J panel, and in that panel, you put your button and J label over there. So J frame and J panel are containers. J frame is the top level container, while the J panel is a secondary or sub container. And usually, the J panel is contained by the content pane with the J frame. And for the components, we can have the J button or J level or different other components. And these are contained by either the frame or the secondary container J panel. Let's look at one demo program, myframe.java. Let's go to the BlueJ environment. Again, this one is a very simple program. Actually, it is like a tester program. You just call one JFrame and set the size 400, 300 as a width and height. And then you set it to be visible to show it. And then you set the default close operation, that's the exit policy. So you will close the window when you click the exit button. So let's run it. So there's nothing in there because we do not put any button in there. And when we click the exit button, the whole window will be closed. Now let's go back to the slides. For the top level frame or applet, you will have a content pane, as we shown in the previous lecture, is one of the layers of the frame. And for the frame, you can get the content pane and you will return a certain pointer to the content pane, and then you add the button in there. So for a frame, you have the title bar. You basically set the title when you call the JFrame, put a string over there that will be shown on here. And you also can set icon over here, that's the icon. And inside box right here, it's the content pane. You can put the button label or some other component over there. Let's look at this demo program. My friend with components.java. This program is similar to the my friend. It said that from this friend, we get a content pane and add one button OK over there. Other than that, it's all the same. That's wrong. Here. It is pretty much the same. It said that there's an OK button over there. And we can click this close and you will exit the program. Let's go back to the slides. For JFrame, we can use the constructor JFrame parenthesis. Or you can call the constructor JFrame and put a string over there that become the title that we showed it in the window. And then you can set size with certain width and height. You can set location with the starting location starting from here, that's the X and Y of the window, and the location is like 100, 100, maybe right here. 
and then the size will be showing up as a window like this. And the exit policy, it is usually one integer. So that exit and close actually is one integer value as a constant. And then you can pack. For the pack, that is very important. It automatically set the frame size to hold the component in the frame. So the pack means that if you have many components, and some of them may be out of the range for the width and height is outside there. Then you use the pack, it will show the top level view to contain all the component inside the content pane view. And that is very useful. Thank you. Bye.